Welcome to one of my videos where I show you the best tips and tricks to building your MTG Arena account. Uh, one thing I want to note is that these videos are strictly for people for the most part who are looking to play uh, constructed on Arena. Um, there's definitely a lot more value into playing limited. However, that's not something that everybody wants to do. Limited is a tough environment, but it also teaches you how to play Magic better. Um, if you would like me to build a video showing you the best ways to get value out of playing limited, let me know in the comments below. There are a lot of good videos out there on YouTube. Uh, MTG Nerd Girl has good ones. Um, Nox also has some as well. Uh, but if you would like to see me make one, please let me know and I'll definitely help out with that. But like I said, these videos are pretty much geared towards people who are going to be playing uh, constructed formats because they want to build towards a certain type of deck. With that, let's jump into today's lesson. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about these bundles that you can buy whenever a set's coming in. Uh, I'm going to compare what the uh, products are to just buying them individually and whether or not you should get these products for yourself. So the first one here is this pack bundle on the left and I'll pull up what each one has. You get 50 packs, you get one of the mythics from the set, and you'll get a card style as well as the sleeve for that card. Uh, it's going to be $50. Uh, so really the only thing you get out of that as far as like building your collection goes is the one mythic and then the 50 packs. Okay, so whether or not you should get this, uh, first of all, if you're playing free to play, obviously you're not going to be able to get this. However, if you do have the 50 towards uh, getting this, I will explain whether or not you should. So first of all, let's just break it down. You're getting 50 packs for $50. So first of all, let's take the first step of this. You're getting 50 packs for $50. Let's ignore the rare and the aesthetic type stuff you're getting for this. So if you were to buy 50 packs, the, clo the closest thing you're going to get towards that is this right here, which is 45 packs. Let's just say you got the six packs as well to make up for it. So you're looking at roughly uh, 10,200 gold to get the same amount of packs. So uh, what you would need to do in order to do that is to buy gems. Uh, so you're looking at the closest equivalent to 10,200, which would basically be this three times, which you're looking at spending roughly $60 to do that. You would have a little bit extra gems, but for the most part, it's going to be the exact same. And you're spending an extra $10 just to get the same amount of packs. So this is something that if you're looking towards clicking on the wrong things. So this is something that if you're definitely looking at spending money, trying to get your sets uh, or at least a decent uh, part of the set completed, I highly recommend if you're buying packs. The value is just there. You're basically going to be saving $10 buying this, and you're also going to be guaranteed a mythic, which could you know help you, especially if you're building stuff uh, pretty budget friendly. Generally, planeswalkers are just good uh, filler at worst if they're not played in the deck that you're trying to build. The next one we're going to look at is this right here. We're going to look at what it has. So it generally comes with a lot of uh, limited. Uh, free plays uh, it'll give you three drafts and one sealed token as well as a lot of aesthetic stuff so we're going to ignore the static stuff and we're just going to focus on what helps us now if you're a player who is just dead set on playing nothing but constructed this is definitely not for you you get zero value out of it with the exception of and i forgot to mention this the mastery pass which is the most important part of this uh, but let's just go over the sealed product stuff first. So you get three drafts and one sealed. So when you get this, you get three free drafts and one free sealed event. So just looking at how much it costs to get into a uh, 
limited event. I'm not going to be able to look at a sealed price, though I could look it up. But just playing in a traditional draft is 1,500 gems, and that's for one. You're getting three of these, so you're automatically getting the equivalent of 4,500 gems right there on the spot. Uh, which, if you look back at the store, your gem comparison is roughly in the neighborhood of $20 plus you're probably gonna have to buy this so you're probably looking at about $30 just for the limited events alone now for the most important part of this which is the uh, thing I actually left out is that you get the mastery pass the mastery pass offers so much value you pretty much get your money back just by getting the mastery pass however you can buy the mastery pass by itself it's 3400 gems which if you go back to the gems uh, is actually a flat 20 so you would be spending an extra $30 to get the rest to get those limited events uh, so it is massive value and I'm going to show you because I'm going to show you the difference between getting just the mastery pass and actually what happens if you don't get the mastery pass which I'll say this if you have a choice uh i definitely recommend you at least get the mastery pass it is well worth the 20 dollars, assuming that's all you get uh, if you're just dead set on not playing limited i understand definitely if you can afford it get the mastery pass it is well worth it so to show you i'm going to go over this uh strict safe and mastery pass that i have and show you the differences of what you would be getting if you didn't have the mastery pass so if you look at this top row if you don't have the mastery pass these are rewards that XP will lead towards and what you get for it and this is assuming you don't have the mastery pass if you have it it'll give you the rewards on this bottom row as well so if you look it only has packs on the top row it doesn't have anything else to it if you look on the bottom row, there are packs, there are aesthetics, there's gold. If you continue on, oh, and look, there's uh, mythics you can pick up. Um, and of course, there's little avatars you'll get to, but there's also packs as well. And also you can actually win gems. If you count all this up, what you get for having, or what you get for not having the mastery packs If you total all this up and look at what happens if you don't have the mastery pass, you will get 36 packs and that's all you get. If you play, if you get the mastery pass, not only do you get everything you've seen here, you also get another draft token, which you may not end up using. I definitely recommend at least opening it just to get the packs and then drop out of the event, if not actually play in it. But you'll also get an extra, um, if you open the Mastery Pass, including the 36 packs you had from not getting the Mastery Pass, you will get a total of 55 packs, you'll get 1200 gems back on it, and you'll get 4000 gold, and you get that draft token. The, that, you, it's way more, it's actually going to be the equivalent of 1400 extra gems than what you spent in order to get the mastery pass is the most important part of any of this bundle stuff to get um, so with that it is a steep price you're talking about 50 for each of these they are well worth it if you don't have the money into it it's understandable uh, definitely look into getting that mastery pass though but of course play within your means don't overspend on stuff with that i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and i hope you come back for the next video if you enjoyed this video and would like to support the channel uh there's several things you can do and most importantly and especially if you enjoyed this video all of them are budget friendly the most important thing you can do to help me out is to subscribe to this youtube channel as well as go towards my twitch and follow me on there uh, same thing with my Twitter, if you have that.
Uh, another thing you could do is to like this video. It'll get it circulating to where more people will see it. Um, and next thing you could do is just continue to share videos you think that people need to see. And specifically with these, you may not be a budget player or it may not specifically affect you, but you may know somebody who is playing arena and playing on a budget and would need to get some tips like these. Or maybe you've got a new player you would like to introduce, and once you've gotten them started, a video like this will help make sure they're putting their resources in the right direction. Uh, next thing you could do is just watch some of my other videos. I put out a lot of deck tech videos, um, teaching things about magic, a lot of discussion, especially on Twitch, uh, where I do that live. You can come see me there and just share other videos and continue to watch things as much as possible. Um, so like I said, views, likes, and the subscriptions all help me out. And most importantly, they are all free, I'm not asking for anything specific, just that. With that, I hope you enjoy my videos and thank you very much just for making it to the end of this video.